Hello to all good people out there. Hope that, hope that you're enjoying the summer and also enjoying some great music. And me, well, I just uh, wanted to shoot this video to show some uh, uh, seven inch vinyl singles, which I picked up uh, recently, at least uh, most of them. And a couple of these I've uh, already shown before, but yeah, since they're bands which I love to talk about and love to spread their board around, I, uh, I'm going to show them quickly again. And this is uh, the single that was uh, available exclusive, I believe it still is available exclusive for new subscribers uh, for Sweden Rock Magazine, Lucifer, the Fire Up and Ride single, which is exclusive for this, uh, well, for this release. It isn't feature on their latest album, uh, Lucifer 3, which the B-side, Flanked by Snakes, is. And it's, uh, it's a good song, definitely. Uh, as I probably mentioned in another video, it was recorded as a uh, as a sort of tribute to Motorhead. Uh, it's and it's definitely Motorhead sounding. All right, uh, more Swedish stuff because you know I love to show that, uh, and also ones which I've shown before, uh, Hellas. Tear of a Traitor with the B side, or perhaps should I say uh, double A side, Carry On. Two of the great tracks from the band's uh, record, uh, latest record, Conundrum, which I already recommended a couple of times. And uh, this single I actually bought uh, another copy, which is still sealed and which I plan to have sealed for the time being. And why I bought a second copy of the same single? Well, I'm a record collector, so uh, what more do you need to know? And this is uh, one more with Hellas, which I haven't shown, but this is their uh, huge hit, so to say. Well, well it is. It is it. It's definitely their most well-known song, uh, Star Rider. And as you can see by the sort of flimsy texture, this is a flexi disc, but it is uh, surprisingly good sounding. Uh, also limited to 1000 copies, I believe, and also features the uh, uh, single edit of the song. Of course, the full version being available in the album, uh, excerpts from a future past. All right, a, a bit more Swedish stuff. Uh, John Norum, the guitarist from the of course, the well-known guitarist from the uh, extre extremely well-known Swedish band Europe. And now that I'm showing this, I realized that this wasn't the single which I meant to show first, but uh, uh, which was this one. Uh, Back on the Streets, uh, a track taken from his uh, solo debut album Total Control, released in 87 as is these two, Love is Meant to Last Forever, as well as this one, which I uh, show first, um, Let Me Love You. And uh, these two I've had for, um, well, quite some years now, but this is a uh, recent buy, uh, Back on the Streets, of course, famous for, I mean, several bands have worked with it. It was, of course, written by Vinnie Vincent, was in Kiss. Uh, but yeah, as you can see why I brought up, uh, why I also wanted to show these two singles, which I already had was, uh, well, you can see it sort of has this nice theme as it should be, as they were all released from the same album. And what's also interesting with these three singles are their B-sides, uh, Wild One, Don't Believe a World, as well as, uh, live version of uh, Bad Reputation and yeah as you can hear by the titles of those three songs um, you can safely say that uh, John Norum as a lot of other Swedes back in the 80s and still today uh, is a huge fan of Thin Lizzy and continuing on that track we have a single with uh, Thin Lizzy uh, Dancing in the Moonlight it's got me in its spotlight a great hit for the band uh, with uh, Bad Reputation as its B-side, of course taken from the album with the same name. 
Uh, this was a nice uh, picture sleeve which I picked up recently and what's also a bit special about this issue is that it was uh, it's a pressing uh, from uh, former Yugoslavia which you can see released on the Radio Televizija Belga, the RTB label. So yeah, it's it's always nice to when you have like this uh, a bit more special pressings than the picture sleeve. You have the classic logo from the band. Really nice single. And uh, from Stin Lizzy, we continue on to another uh, hero for uh, uh, John Orum and uh, another art artist which was huge here in the in Sweden in the 80s, also early 90s. Uh, uh, Gary Moore, which I picked up several singers, uh, several singles from uh, over the last two weeks or so. This is Shape of Things with the uh, instrumental Blinder as its B-side. Uh, of course, taken from the Victims of the Future album. And next one, this is a, uh, uh, well, very more well-known track, Empty Rooms, which I believe this was the second uh, version that he recorded this song because the original version of the song was featured on the uh, on the mentioned uh, Victims, of, Victims of the Future album. And this was in 83 and this was uh, the second version of the song released in 84, but it wasn't until he re re released and re-recorded another version of the song in 85 on the Cor Corridor, Corridor of Powers album released in 82, but uh, in 85 he did a record called Run For Cover, which was hugely successful and where uh, Empty Rooms at long last became a huge hit. So yeah, you can really see that he had some high hopes for that track. And this uh, particular single features Nuclear Attack uh, in a live version on the B-side. Speaking of the Run For Cover album, here's one of the singles that were released for it, uh, Listen To Your Heartbeat. And, uh, well, immediately when I heard this song for the first time many years ago, I immediately thought, all right, Gary, I see what you're going for there. You wanted to make your own version of uh, Every Breath You Take by The Police, because it, it really reminds me of that track. But it, it is, it is a really solid track. Listen to your heartbeat, as is the B-side, Out of My System also featured on the Run For Cover album, uh, featuring Glenn Hughes on vocals. And the last one by good old Gary, uh, The Loner, another huge classic, of course, the epic instrumental. And what's very special and what also shows how huge Gary was here in Sweden is that The Loner was featured as the opening thing for a Swedish television program. I believe that it was called uh, Neura Magazine, at the translation like Norton Magazine. So yeah, the Sweden really did love Gary and well continues to do still to this day. All right, now a couple of ones with uh, one of my all-time favorite bands, Deep Purple. A couple of nice pieces for the good old Deep Purple collection. And both of these are also as uh, the Thin Lizzy single, Dancing in the Moonlight, these are also issues released in uh, Yugoslavia back in the back in the 70s, and here we have Fireball with the Demon's Eye on the B side, and uh, here you can see the classic old uh, Yugoton label, and I believe that Yugoton released all of the stuff from EMI um, in the 70s and 80s. Uh, this uh, and this is also an exclusive cover for that territory for uh, for Yugoslavia back in those days, so it wasn't released uh, with this kind of nice looking psychedelic cover anywhere else. And uh, here we have Stormbringer with uh, Love Don't Mean a Thing, both tracks, of course, taken from the mentioned Stormbringer album. So, yeah, two really nice pieces, nice picture sleeves for the, the purple collection. 
All right, a couple of more uh, Judas Priest, Turbo Lover, classic track, and an album which by now a lot of people see as a classic. Uh, it definitely has a better word of mouth these days, I feel, than its sequel, uh, Ram It Down. But yeah, I, I just love Turbo. Uh, the classic title track, well, sort of title track as it's a side through Belover with Hot for Love at the B side, a track which they really, I really like it. I believe that Rob Halford said in one interview that it is his least favorite track with uh, Judas Priest or uh, perhaps even a track that he hated that he recorded or something like that. But they actually did play it at least once on the Turbo Tour and as far as I'm concerned they could have continued to do that for the entire, well, the entire Turbo Tour Field for Life. All right, Nazareth, Party Down, uh, with the, do you think about it as a B-side? Uh, I mean, when it comes to Naz Nazareth's uh, 80s stuff, uh, this one is from 84, from the, uh, the Catch album. Overall, uh, their entire 80s catalog is so, so uh, severely underrated, which is a topic which I'll, which I'll probably come back to in several other videos. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is not one of their greatest tracks, a bit more synth driven, of course, 80s sounding as a lot of bands were back then. Well, duh, it was the 80s. Of course, there were 80s sounding. But yeah, nice picture sleeve. Party down. This was uh, one of the finds uh, which I was the most excited about uh, over the last couple of weeks. Camel, Cloak and Dagger Man, a single taken from the Stationary Traveler, Stationary Traveler album from 84. And now that I think about it, I've been showing quite a few singles which are from 84 this video so yeah that's a strange fun coincidence anyway cloak and dagger man uh which by the way i uh, just now i mean recently i've been using this song as a uh, ringtone for my cell phone so uh, you know i just have to have it not to mention that i don't actually see a lot of camel seven inches out there and uh, especially not from the 80s uh featuring pressure points the uh introduction to the album station traveler the instrumental which starts the album off so yeah great album i, I mentioned this uh, in another video station traveler and a really nice single to find uh, nice i mean also once again nice looking picture sleeve Uh, Golden Earring, When the Lady Smiles, uh, one of the most classic uh, album, uh, one of the most classic songs which it, which they did back in the 80s. With the Orwell's Year as its B-side, taken from the album News, and wouldn't you know it, another track from 84. I mean, it just, it, yes, such a strange coincidence, but yeah, I don't complain. Uh, another nice picture sleeve, uh, and I believe, I mean, this sleeve, it shows some pictures from the music video for the track. I believe it is from the music video, it's been years since I saw it, but what I remember is that the, the video for uh, When the Lady Smiles, it was kind of controversial when it first came out, and I, I can't remember why it, it uh, I believe that it perhaps features some sort of violence, like like a nun being killed or shot or whatever, or maybe I'm remembering wrong, but, but I believe that there was some sort of controversy. But yeah, great track, nice looking single. And the last one, another favorite band of mine, Rainbow. I Surrender, of course, the first hit that they had with Joel Lynn Tur Turner on vocals from the first album that he did with Rainbow, of course, uh, Difficult to Cure from 81, featuring the great instrumental that was also in the album, Vielleicht das Nachtzeit, uh, which actually has that German title on the album, but also it says here in brackets, maybe next time. Another nice, uh, cool looking, uh, 
picture sleeve which was oops which was uh, exclusive for the well at least the uh, this picture was exclusive for the album i believe that this one was sort of cropped out taken from the well taken from the album cover of course uh, classic stuff done by hypnosis and as i mentioned in another video i really dig this uh, combination of black and the green i think that really fits a lot of great record and single covers i mean album art overall so yeah rainbow i surrender and um, yeah nice piece for the rainbow collection so yeah there you have it some uh, stack of really nice singles which i picked up recently so yeah everybody that was it for this video uh, for everybody that has been watching to the end thank you very much if you like uh, my videos uh, please subscribe and uh, i'll see you soon in another video bye bye